Hi, I'm Charlie Kasov. I'm a math teacher, and today we're going to talk about the advantages of using algebraic expressions instead of numeric values. Now, what I find works best uh, for this example is the formula for the interior degrees of a polygon. That's a lot of words, but basically we start with a triangle, and inside of a triangle there are 180 degrees. Now, a triangle has three sides. The thing is, there's no such thing as a polygon with less than three sides. So w next we have a rectangle, and that has 360 degrees and four sides. So where algebra comes in is, what if someone asks you to find uh, the interior degrees of a shape with 15 sides? Well, you could sit there and go three sides, 180, four sides, 360, and every step you're going to add 180. So you go five sides, pentagon, would be five sides, and that's 540. And 20 minutes later, you've drawn your 15-sided figure, and you've figured out how many degrees are in it. Where algebra makes this easier is there's a formula that will give you any interior degrees of any polygon when you call the number of sides n. That's your variable. So we start with 180 and we'll always be adding 180 each time, but we can't just say 180 times n, because then if n were 1, we'd have 180, but n needs to equal 3 to start. So we actually have to say n minus 2. So instead of drawing out all 15-sided uh, shapes, you know, the 6-side, the 7-side, the 8-side, we're just going to say n equals 15. So 180 times 15 minus 2, which is 180 times 13, which is 2340 degrees. So that is a perfect example of how algebra makes a, um, an easier expression and an easier solution than numeric values. Coordinate geometry, which is part of algebra 2, is another very good example. When you're dealing with a graph and you have the slope-intercept form, of y equals mx plus b. Um, y stands for your y-coordinate, x is your x-coordinate, m is your slope, and b is your y-intercept. So rather than trying to draw a whole graph and pick out every point, if you, s if you know that you have y equals 2x plus 1, then on a graph, you know that the m value is the slope, so that's 2, so it's going to be kind of going up. The 1 is your y-intercept, so we go up 1, and this is a positive slope, so it's going to be coming up like that. And that makes it a lot easier than having to plug in every point every time. So those are two examples of how algebra is a much easier uh, way of expressing than integer values. I'm Charlie Kasov. Thank you.